What's up, Rollerbooters? Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being here. So I know a lot of my viewers here, a lot of us, we like our fair share of grinder blading, of aggressive skating, grinding stuff, jumping stuff. But as we all sort of get a little bit older in our average demographic of aggressive skaters here, I think some of us are more inclined to at least some of the time uh, do a little bit of big wheeling. And I think that's really cool. And so that's sort of inspired, I think, some of these skates like the USD Aeon 80, which is sort of a mixture of both of aggressive and big wheel. And it sounds like people have a lot of fun on those. I hope to skate those one day, but them skates has jumped on board and may or may not have seen this already, but they have an 80 millimeter uh, 909, them skates 909 version that you can buy. And they just made it to where you can now buy basically the sole kit separately. So that if you have a 909 boot and you wanna bolt on some 80 millimeter wheels and go blasting around town, do some urban skating or fitness skating, whatever, you can now buy them separately and just bolt them right on. So my local buddy, Jeremy, bought some. These are size small, so they're not gonna fit, they're not gonna fit on my them skates, but we're gonna um, unpackage these today. So thank you to Jeremy for letting me um, unpackage these for the channel and get a first look at them. I'm super excited. And we're gonna bolt them up to his skates one of these days and go to the local pump track that just opened and go blast around. So stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up um, so you don't miss so you don't miss that one. But before we unpackage these, we'll head on over to themgoods.com and take a quick look at what they have going on as far as information. So if we go over to themgoods.com and then we can find these ready to roll kind of sole kits. You can get them both with just the sole uh, plate and frame. Uh, without wheels and bearings, or you can get them with ready to roll basically. So I'm pretty sure Jeremy got black. And so we'll click on them 80 millimeter replacement sole plates black. Uh, you can see that they are 179 99 180 bucks for these. Uh, they have them in, of course, all different sizes for the existing 909 boot sizes. And we can see just from the pictures here that, you know, um, they do have that kind of standard um, them, those, those axles, them, them axles, the single sided, um, teardrop sort of axles here. So you only need one Allen key, which is nice. And, um, so some of the information here, so 80 millimeter wheelbase frames for the 909 boot. And this is kind of interesting. So <clears throat> they have a note here. Bridge hardware is different than 58 millimeter street bridge hardware. So just fly you won't be able to use your existing hardware on your 909. If I'm reading that correctly, you'll have to use the included hardware, which we'll take a look at here in a second. So again, if you end up liking the video, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and let's go ahead and break these things open. Okay, stickers flowing out. And we have the hardware flowing out as well. The shop with the four dots. I gotta figure out how to get that glare off there, I swear. Oh, cool. I haven't seen that one before. 80s in the house. That's dope. Do, do, do. All right. Hardware. So I'm not sure if that's supposed to be bent like that. Perhaps it is. We'll find out. So I was greeted. Basically, first thing I was greeted with was one of these screws besides the stickers, I guess. Okay. So we'll move the stickers off to the side here. And... Take a closer look once we pull everything out. Okay, I kind of wish that they would have put the hardware in like its own separate baggie. I guess it was. It was? Oh, Jesus. I think it was originally supposed to be in this bag, but it's not. Bad. I'm just gonna take a quick inventory because I feel paranoid and I want to make sure everything is here. So, so what? One, two, three, three, two, four, eight. With a bonus. Okay, so we are good on hardware. Yeah, so this is the first one I was greeted with. So unfortunately, this one's a little bit bent because it, I mean, it doesn't look like it was necessarily supposed to be bent. So I'm going to let Jeremy bend that back because I don't want to tamper with his stuff. But yeah, one of them's a little bit bent, but whatever. I guess that's just part of it in shipping. There's one that's bent the other way a little bit. Is what it is, I guess, right? Um, I don't immediately see how this hardware's different than the um, the normal hardware, but I suppose it is. If I had them side by side, perhaps I could tell. All right, so let's take a look at the product itself. Okay, just first glance for you here. Okay. 
All right, cool. Uh, definitely feel nice and solid, that's for sure. Gotta love these Ben wheels. They look really nice. Really clean, simple. 80 millimeter, 90A. So I bet you can do some sick slides in these things, some sick like power slides and stuff. So cool. They look dope. And what's cool is if you go on their website, I think it, John Julio posted something on Instagram too, but like the color ways, the color mi mixing and matching you can do. I think Jeremy's gonna put these on his gray 909s, which I think is gonna look really, really clean. So yeah. Um, so I'm gonna pull out one of the wheels just quickly, just to take a, uh, just to take a quick look at the wheel itself. Kind of a nice touch too. I didn't really mention it, but the black hardware, I'm not sure if all of them hardware is black. I can't remember, but either way, the just completely murdered out look of these looks super sick. So. And from on their website, they said these were ABEC 5. I don't know if everyone says that differently, but ABEC 5 bearings. These look like fun, man. Try to get the profile in there for you. So cool. All right. I mean, that's pretty much all she wrote. Standard them hardware. We all kind of know and love here. Feels like really quality stuff. I think that's that's one of their big stuff is their their axles are like bomber. And oh boy. Well, I guess it needs to be durable if I'm gonna do that with it, huh? Um, all right, what else? Is that pretty much it? I think that's pretty much it for the unboxing. Standard spacers that are used in the uh, street frames and other them stuff. Oh, I didn't even actually point that out. That's kind of cool. They have this open window here for the wheel uh, so it doesn't rub, I guess. Yeah, I didn't notice that initially, but. That's pretty cool. Okay, I think that pretty much does it for the uh, them 80 millimeter kind of sole frame, sole plate kit, conversion kit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, thanks again, Jeremy, for letting me unpackage these and stoked to see you go blasting around. Uh, so again, we're going to be testing these out, hopefully at the pump track. I think that's going to be a good time. So anyway, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, consider subscribing, make sure to hit the notification bell. Uh, so you don't miss any new videos or our live streams. Make sure you check your notification settings as well. And with that, Roller Booters, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Which one of these videos looks more interesting to you? This one or this one? Click one to support the channel and to support rollerblading, and I'll see you there.